Next Wave DV's coverage of NAB 2011 is made possible by LCD Viewfinder, the essential accessory for DSLR video, CPM Film Tools, your lightweight solution for caging the beast, Manhattan LCD, the affordable solution for high definition monitoring, VNH, the professional source for photo, video, and pro audio. Hey, this is Sean with Next Wave DV. We're here at the Dolby booth, and I'm here with Rob. He's going to be talking to us about the uh, media emulator and the media meter. Hey, well, thanks for joining us, Sean. Um, really pleased you could come to see us at the show. So we've got a couple of tools we're talking about here. We've launched Media Emulator, and that's a new tool for people who are working in surround sound to enable them to see how their content would sound when it's replayed through something like a stereo TV or set-top box. Because, of course, we all like to create surround sound 5.1 and you know, 7.1 is now coming from the theatres. And we've got to think, though, that a lot of users will be listening on other devices. You know, it might even be a mobile phone. You know, we've got things like the Nokia phone here with Dolby Digital Plus surround sound support. So we've really got to think about how that mix is going to sound on these devices. So, it'll, so it'll, you, can take, uh, you can take your 5.1 mix or your 7.1 mix and you can emulate to see what it'll sound like on a stereo, coming through something like this or on a mobile phone? Yeah, very much so. That's the main reason for this product. So you'll have your 5.1 um, mix and you'll plug it into here. You'll select stereo or you can select mono and it'll apply the down mixing and the compression that would be applied exactly as it would be in a Dolby Digital Plus decoder. And could you tell us a little bit about the media meter? Yeah, of course. Well, loudness measurement is a really hot topic at the moment. You know, there's regulations coming into place that require broadcasters and other creators of content to actually make sure that the loudness of the content matches what's expected. And so what we have here is a tool that allows you to analyze the content on a really sort of long-term or short-term basis, get all the detail you want about it. Actually, in Media Emulator, we had the, base, the ability to measure the whole content and give you a single value, but here we get the ability to create graphs, see the range of the content, and really dig deeper into how the loudness is going to be perceived by an end user. All right, great. And uh, are all, how are these uh, being distributed? I mean, they're plugins. Uh, what kind of platforms are these available for? Yeah, so the plugins are available for RTAS, so we can work in Pro Tools, of course, and also as VST, so the range of platforms that support VST plugins. What, what I should say is that the um, Dolby Media Meter is currently shipping, and the emulator we were just talking about is very much a new product. So we're just sort of finalizing the feature set, and that's going to be shipping in September. And what are the price point on these? So Dolby Media Meter um, it retails at around $800, um, and Media Emulator will be around 250 all right, Rob, I also hear that your uh, Dolby's also getting into video now. Yeah, well, this is a surprise to many people because they often know Dolby from surround sound, from noise reduction, and from our long history of working with audio. But Dolby's also got a lot of experts in the video field. Over a number of years now, we've been building up our video team. So we do now things like 3D cinema replay systems that do both video and audio. But here at the show, we've been talking very much about our new vision monitor. So this is effectively a CRT replacement. It's designed to be the most accurate vision monitor that you can get. And so it's called the PRM4200, and it uses a unique backlight system where we have RGB backlights that modulate on a local basis along with a 12-bit panel. And this makes it ideal for color grading applications and anywhere else where you really need to know that the colors being reproduced are exactly the ones that you want to see. All right, and where can people go to get more information on the uh, plugins or on the monitor? Well, of course, they can go to our website, dolby.com, and that'll give them a, a, an overview of what's going on. You know, with something like the monitor, though, you've just got to go and see it. So the thing to do is get in touch with Dolby and, and see where we can get in touch to, to view, the, view the monitor. All right, well, thank you very much, Rob. I really appreciate it. Cheers. Hope you have a good show. Subscribe to us on YouTube and visit nextwavedv.com for more news and training for video and filmmakers.